Okay, um, I got access. This is the Roblox Talent Hub, and basically in this video, I'm just going to be going over all the, um, just showing you everything about this page, because most people don't actually have this yet. Um, so basically, the Talent Hub is a new place, and actually the Developer Forums Community tab, I think it is, um, I forget exactly what, what it is. Or collaboration, yeah, where it has recruitment and portfolios, is uh, going to be diluted soon, I heard, uh, and replaced with this uh, as soon as everyone gains access. But right now there's only 17 jobs, um, so yeah, there's not that many people really on here, or at least not that many people posting jobs. But basically, uh, if you haven't seen how this works, it basically, I don't know what this diamond thing means, but it's it, it shows like the amount of time you want you can do things. I don't know. Um, but basically, you can, well, let me show you. If I try to create, I actually don't know how to create a job. You might have to be um, a verified, there's like a verification thing right there. I think you need to have that to be able to post a thing. I actually don't know how to get that, but basically, um, uh, what's his name? The, but he's, I, I, I know this, um, group, it, because I played School Tycoon once, but basically what it says is they're looking for a commission which means it's not full-time or part-time. They just want one thing done. And the compensation type can either be Robux, percentage, or a dollar sign will represent real-life money. And most people will probably be taking advantage of PayPal for something like that. So it says their previous work. And it just says we're looking for a new builder. Um, and this would include maintenance updates on existing games as well as completely new projects and then it they just give all their links and things like that so basically if you click apply um yeah a link to your creator page will be submitted by default so if you click apply you can basically add like a message saying hey i want this job it sounds interesting thing <laughs> um, and then submit it I'm not gonna submit it obviously cuz I don't know and I actually don't at the moment know what how this is moderated like if it has the same rules as the developer forum where you can pretty much post anything and it's moderated beforehand but I don't know if you can post like links that aren't the normal social links or something like that. But I'll show you my creator page here to sort of give you an idea of what it looks like. So first of all, if you go into find creators, I don't think it actually shows me on this list, which makes sense. But basically, we'll look at, I don't know. I guess open to work means that they're actually, they actually set it uh, here, open to work. I think that's this part, allow users to invite me to apply for their job. I don't know, oh, you have to uh, check or uncheck that. But I don't even know why open to work false people would be shown here. That's sort of interesting. So let's say um, we want to, Look at this guy. So he has a bio and open to work. And then he, you can give a specified time amount and you can say, just explain what you're, what you like to do. And then skills, there's tags that you can add, like for example, scripting, development, get game design, things like that. And the links are taken from your profile but you can actually customize what gets put on there so for example I didn't if I didn't want to have my Roblox profile link I could just do that and it would be gone 
and then also developer forms and YouTube are all visible to me and page visibility I have right there and now this new part I shouldn't have obby tycoon first uh, I want I don't see a way to actually like drag them up or down which I might suggest that's that would help because like you want the the better ones to be good so let me show you what this is like so project name if you're working on a game or if you've finished a game then you could basically put it here so I'll say my game without a space there and then job title you can put what you're doing for the game so in most cases I would say scripter I I haven't really advertised Canvify on this channel but I did some some of the most important scripting for Candify. It's a bakery. I'll actually leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. It's also on my uh, Talent Hub page here, though, if you want to look at it that way. And then start date is when you started the project, which goes back to 1969. That's a, quite a while ago. I don't think... <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think anyone was doing projects back then, so... That's interesting. And then you can set a month as well. Now, end date, you can choose when the project ended, or you can say, this is my current job, which means you're still doing it. And then you basically you can just put a description for what you have done for the game. And then links, you can add links to, for example, a game or the group. That's what I did here, game and then group. Or, uh, I don't know, like, something else so yeah that's pretty much the talent hub for right now obviously there's things like settings where apparently I'm getting email notifications automatically so you can get email notifications when someone applies to your job someone uh, re I don't know how to say that an in-progress application so I guess that means like stops I think um, and someone sends me a message via an immediate email. Someone makes a decision on my job application. Someone invites me to apply to their job. It would really be nice if you could, if you could, like, show, get, like, updates on your computer. But I think this is what the verified thing ha did. So if I think if I do this, then... I can basically verify my identity. Um, I'm confused about why it took me to the my account page though. Did it verify me? Oh yeah, also for some reason when you refresh it does that, which is sort of weird. Okay, so it says being verified helps others trust you more on the talent hub and is sig a signal that Roblox is reasonably confident and the user is a real person. Learn more here. For now, verification is led by the Roblox team. Check back later for the ability to self-verify. Uh, so this button is not... Um, it's not working right now, I guess. Even though the button's here, it doesn't work yet. But let me make sure there's not anything else. So there's obviously a logout, and then you have your inbox. And you can basically say, jobs shared with me, jobs I applied to. And also, one thing I didn't say here is you can, yeah, allow users to invite me to apply for their job. I think I showed that, but you can basically, someone can go to your profile and then invite you to join their project and, like, link their job page. And then manage job posts. Oh, this is where you post a job. All right. So if you wanted someone to do a job for you, uh, then you can basically do it here. So I'll say, I need a builder for my game. And I'll say commission. And then I'll say, I need a builder, please. <laughs> and then... You need to have one year of experience, good, something, stuff like that. 
So there's actually a pretty big minimum on these, which I guess makes it uh, more official or more. You have to add more things. So you have to describe your job. And then search skills. Skills is basically where this is like if someone searches one of these, then they will find it if you list one of these. So for example, in my case, I would say building. And I don't know how modeling is different, but that would be included as well. And then primary compensation type. And if a compensation is a combination, choose a single representative currency to be displayed in the summary of this post job. Okay. So I would choose Robux. You can also do revenue percentage, which is group percentage from your group things. And compensation, you can say, I will give you money. And obviously, I'm not going to save this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the talent hub i'm really excited to have the entire roblox developer community on here because right now there's 17 jobs as i said but i'm i'm excited for like everyone to be on here and i feel like this is a way better way to see people see people who want help and see people who are helping with the games so yeah i'm really excited for the future of this page and if you liked this video and you found it informative, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as well as turning on post notifications to get notified when I upload a new video. As well, another thing is that I have a Discord server. Links in the description. If you ever need to ask something, you can talk directly to me or to someone else. Anyway, thanks and goodbye.